Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and encoding overloaded. No, I'm just recording a simple video. This shouldn't be overloading my OBS. <clears throat> oh, looks like looks like we're off to a good start. Uh, but anyway, um, let me go ahead and I intro this music real quick. It's gonna be last winter I died. Um, a dream call from Aaron Fatiaf. Colorful names. So, and but this is gonna be some dungeon synth. Um, and this is just something I cobbled together almost immediately. Or, this is something that gather. This is something that I just cobbled together, kind of on the spur of the moment. Um, I'll kind of explain why here in a moment. But yeah, I did. I kind of, I kind of made the mistake of uh. Buying some uh, five hour energy drinks. They're the uh, peach mango flavored. I mean, so I'm pretty much crashing, or I pretty much spent probably most of this morning crashing, trying to trying to stay awake. So I finally got up to get up and finally got up to get up and go to make this cast video. So originally I was just gonna make like a probably just have like a. a a nature hike video and just talk over that. But. Okay, I do need to do a sound test. Alright, I'll just leave it at that. So, but, um, anyways, uh, as far as the day went, you know, just, uh, street my usual idol champions. I that uh, went pretty good. I uh, just did some uh, did some farming runs, did some did some hard runs, um, and uh, like yesterday, I had some podcasts going on yesterday too. Uh, one of which was Keith Richards. I like holy shit, the guy's still alive. I mean, I mean, I know he's uh, he's basically the poster boy for immortality, but I mean. I figured he would have, it's 2022, I figured he would have died by now, <clears throat> but no, he's, he's still kicking, um, I guess he quit smoking too, and, uh, I don't, I don't think he's, like, eating health foods or anything like that, but, but yeah, he had a, he had a podcast that just came out, like, yesterday or the day before or something like that. So yeah, that was that was pretty mind blowing. So, but uh, another thing I also tried doing uh, yesterday, I actually tried sitting down and watching a watching a damn Dungeons and Dragons session. I I couldn't do it. I think um I think it was either either last night or the day before. One of my regulars came on and kind of asked me, he uh, like, do, asked me if I like D and D. Um, my impulsive answer was no, uh, not not the tabletop. But like I said, I never, I never actually actually seen a D and D session. It's just a concept of, um, basically I'll just play, you know, play acting with dice. It just, it's something that I would rather, I would rather play in a video game. Than to do in real life, it just. But, it, but yeah, like I said, I actually tried watching a watching a D and D session. It too much cringe. Oh my god! It. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I love me some Dungeons and Dragons, but it kind of strikes me as um, it kind of strikes me as uh, fighting games like Fantasy Strike, Fantasy Strike and Dive Kick. I mean, mechanically, they're fighting games that are fucking brilliant. You know, they just revolutionary in what they do, but that everything else though they can keep. So you know, just the uh, all the aesthetics and dialogue and storyline and lore and whatnot. Yeah, no, thank you. But uh, but yeah, like I said, I like I like the mechan I like the mechanics of those games. Same with D and D. Now, I've got a I used. Hang on, I already screwed it up, and I did forget to mention at the start of this at the start of this cast, 
I do have a fair amount of moving parts on here. Um, again, much of them were just whipped up at the last second, so... It's gonna be... So just get ready for some execution errors. But, um, I do have, a. Uh, I used to have a whole bunch of, uh, first edition D&D books, but, uh, they're all but gone now. I think, um, probably back in the 90s when I had my first apartment, um, I was having trouble paying the bills, so I had a, I had, like, two duffel bags full of D&D books, but I had to sell them all, just, uh, you know, kind of out of desperation, had to make ends meet. So, but uh, I've got a, I think I still have some of the second edition books, and I've got a few of the third edition books. So, but like I said, yeah, I mean, I mean, I like D&D, but not, not the tabletop. I'd rather play it in a video game like Baldur's Gate, um, and... Baldur's Gate and the uh, Idol Champs. So. Yeah. Um, uh, and I guess, um. Uh, and I guess uh, for those that say. Joe, you should go out more often. Um, yeah, there are probably the same people that uh that get into that get into this. It's also one of the reasons why I tend to be uh culturally and socially off the grid as I put in my uh in my Twitch bio. Yeah, I guess uh, legendary streamer Amaranth, she's now uh she's cutting farts in cans and selling them for like a thousand bucks. And I guess how there are people that are actually buying this. So. But yeah, and I think uh, I think I made a comment about it too. Like I can't, I can't see these farts being hers. I mean, she looks like she's never eaten a burrito in her life. You know, she's all skinny and stuff. I'm guessing she probably, uh, she probably paid some morbidly obese guy who was, who was subsisting on burritos, beer, sauerkraut, and cabbage. He's probably get, she's probably getting this guy to fart in jars for her. So. Yeah, but, right, but. But right when I right when I saw this, I figured these are probably the same people that think I should stop being a homebody, Joe. You should go out more. Uh, no, no. So. But yeah, um, that's no. Oh. I, I guess that was it. But like I, like I said, there, this um, this cast was put together pretty much just right on spur of the moment. You know, originally I was just gonna throw up a nature hike video and just talk about the first thing that comes up and do that for about 15 minutes, but I didn't want to have to. Oh, let me up. Uh, let me take a drink of some of my Arizona green tea. Hold on. Totally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, but like like I said, this I didn't wanna oh I didn't wanna risk that particular video getting a takedown notice. So I just went ahead and um made him made this one the traditional way. So if I'd have thought this cast would have been uh, this short, I probably would have added more. Or or maybe 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 maybe.
Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna do another Jessica Wildfire article, but uh, I think she talks about they're intentional. They're now intentionally trying to kill us. And it just, it didn't seem like something worth uh, worth reading aloud in a cast video. So, so yeah, I'll just go. I guess I'll just go ahead and call it good here. So, but thanks to everyone for uh, tuning in and listening to me for what little I actually had. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, uh, which will be my last one for the week. So, and hopefully I'll have more content. Oops. So, but until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming by and see you all next time. Bye for now.